So, as everybody know, the fight with me and Maurice hooked us off. Um, he pulled some bitch ass shit. Him and his fucking coach pulled some pussy bitch ass shit. Um, talk about they one fight at 147 and all that stuff now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off about it. I'm definitely pissed off about it, you know, because, like, and I know you'll be watching this, you know, like, you know, we don't like each other. This real, this not no business shit. Like, I know in Dallas, he was, when we sat next to each other, he was telling the, the announcer, was like, y'all don't like each other. And I was like, yeah, you kind of right. We don't like each other. And you was like, it's business. It's just business. No, it's not just business. You, you, you say you don't like me. I talk too much. Whatever, whatever the case, you say you don't like me. I don't like you. Um... And it's real, you know what I'm saying? It's real beef, it's real bad blood and shit like that. So, and I think that's some pussy bitch ass shit you and Bo Mag pull. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talk about, you talk about you can't, you can't make the weight first. Initially, like I said, the fight was supposed to be at, um, initially the fight was supposed to be at 140, you know, for, you know, we, I'm trying to, my goal is to be a champion again at 140. So I don't plan on going 147 right now. That's not my goals. I want to be, my personal goal, like I say, is to be a champion again at 140 before I move up to 147. So I, I'm not about to keep budging and shit like that. But we did the first time, you know. Um, at first, we, you know, we said it was going to be at 140. You was like, no, Bomax said, no, you can't make the weight. You, it'll take you three months to make 140. All right, the coronavirus happened. It's been three months. Now you even bigger. You know what I'm saying? Now you fucking, you got even more fucking time to make the shit and you even bigger now. So, and now you want to, you, you, you even heavier. So this shit don't make sense, bro. I, I really don't think you, I don't think you, I don't think you want to fight me. Um, your team know you don't want to fight me. I, I think you fucking scared of me. I'm not going to lie. I really think you scared of me. I think, I think. I think you on some bitch ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I just think you on some bitch pussy ass shit because how you gonna pull this? It don't make no fucking sense. You had all the time in the world. And on top of that, just like I said earlier, you fucking make seven figures to fight. How are you not professional enough to fucking stay in shape? I've been fucking in shape. I've been training this whole time. This whole corona time, I've been fucking training. I'm ready to make 140. So. I mean, it's just, like I said, man, it's just on, on some bitch-ass, puss-ass shit. I'm not going to 147. Um, you gonna fuck around and miss a payday. You're not gonna get this opportunity for a while. So you need to make the weight. If you don't fucking make the weight, then I don't know what to tell you, brother. But like I said, man, I just, I think, and I know it's a lot of people gonna be watching this shit. A lot of people gonna be commenting, whatever. I said what I said. I'm not gonna back down from it. I think Hooker is fucking scared of me. I think his team is fucking scared of me. Uh, and that's, you know, that, that is what I remember. Fuck, even at the press conference, Bo Mack was saying his, he know his fighter, his capability, his capabilities of his fighter is better than mine and shit. I, well, how the fuck you don't know your, the capability of your fighter and he can't fucking make weight? You really know the capability of your fighter? Come on, man, that's some butch ass shit. And you know who's gonna fight. Why you, why you coming out? Why y'all coming out and saying the shit now? This shit don't make no fucking sense, bro. Like I said, I think the nigga scared of me. Y'all say what y'all want. I think it's on some puss ass shit. You know what I'm saying? The nigga from Dallas. Dallas full of some real ass niggas. And I know that for a fact. So y'all better get y'all mans. Make the nigga get in shape. Make him do what he gotta do. I don't know. But he need to get his shit together. Because I still want to fight him. I'm not going to bend to his rules. Now, I know people going to say, just go to 147. No, I'm not going to 147. That's not my goals right now. I bet... At first, like I said, the fight was supposed to be at 140 for some type of belt. I want to be a world champion again at 140. Um, they said, no, he can't make the weight again. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to clarify what the fuck going on. He said that, no, he can't make the weight. It's going to take him a while to get to 140. All right, bam, we said, well, that's cool. Let's do it at 143. All right, they agreed. Then coronavirus hit. Now the nigga even heavier. So... Like I said, man, y'all get y'all fucking people. I know it's, I, I know people in there. I got some people in there that I fuck with hard and heavy and shit like that, man. Y'all get y'all partner. Because I think the nigga scared of me. I think the nigga running. He said he can't make the weight. I think it's on some bullshit. And um, like I said, I'm not I'm not going to keep fucking, I'm not going to bend. I'm not going to bend. I'm not going to bend for him. I already bent that 143. I'm not doing it again. So if you can't make 143, fuck you. And you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And look. I'm here. So if, if we if if we gotta fight at 147 one day eventually, it is what it is. That's what we're gonna do. But right now, it ain't gonna happen. And anyways, 
on top of that, bro, you a stepping stone to me. Real shit, you a stepping stone. You got fucked up by the nigga I'm trying to fuck up. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? I had to put that out there because you got knocked the fuck out in your hometown. I'm going to keep saying that shit. You got beat the fuck up in front of every fucking body you ever knew in front of your hometown, in front of all your fucking people. That bitch was packed. All the niggas you ever knew in your whole life was there. And you got rocked. You got knocked the fuck out. Nigga broke your fucking neck or whatever nigga did to you. So, and that's the motherfucker I'm trying to fight. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm you just a stepping stone to me, bro. This shit could be a sparring match. So, like I said, your team can say whatever the fuck they want. Y'all can say all this type of shit. Um, but they know your capabilities and all that, but I, like I said, man, there's some bitch ass shit from your whole side. You know what I'm saying? Like your whole team is some bitch ass shit because it, if you're a professional, you're making seven figures to fight, it shouldn't be like this. You shouldn't be unprofessional. You should not be that.